guys how y'all doing um i don't know i'm so happy which is a good thing <laughs> but anyway hello everyone thanks for tuning in to my channel to my video if you've been with me the last couple weeks awesome so glad to have you guys you know if you're just not finding me hey welcome let's talk let's you know i don't know <laughs> but anyway so forgot what i was gonna say hold on give me a second brain fart oh snap okay. so i'm just gonna say the first thing that comes to my head right now because i'm totally having a brain fart right now but anyway today's video is going to be about the pros and cons of having natural hair um, I'm going to do two videos because as you know if you watch my natural hair journey video that I cut my hair recently I cut it in November of 2016 is now um, I believe it's May 31st about to be June so it's been about six months since I've um big chop again um if you don't know the story behind i don't think i really i discussed it in the comments i didn't really make a video about it um i cut my hair because um i bleached my hair a couple of times and um i was actually growing my hair back out to get it back into its natural state the ends were badly damaged you can honestly tell the difference like if i um like washed my hair or even condi put condition on my hair, you see the different textures. The ends would be all loose, almost like 3A. I want to say I'm not good with hair typing, um, but it was like a really loose curl, curl, almost wavy in some areas, while my roots were very tightly coiled. So if I let it um, just dry on its own without having my hair like way down and elongated you'll have my roots will be really to my head and then you'll have these ends that are just you know waving or curling around and it looked really really weird um my hair was almost too bra strap length um so yeah i have experience with both short and long hair um right now my hair is entering an awkward stage when it's not really long but it's not really short I absolutely hate that stage the first time I went through it. Hate that I have to go through it again, but hey. Oh, the reason I cut it. Um that I was thinking about cutting it before then, but I did end up getting um some crochet faux locks. Um and when I took it out first, I went to someone that doesn't normally do my hair, so she braided it super extra tight. And one when I usually get my hair um crocheted. I blow it out so it's easier for them to braid it. Um, but I didn't have a chance to do that, so I just combed out my hair. Um, and I didn't really wash my hair. Like it was like it was a fresh style, so it was still moisturized and everything, but it wasn't like clean, clean hair. Um, and I did, and so I left it in about a couple months. I ended up taking it out, and yeah. Like it took, I was like going through school and I was like working a lot of hours, so it was kind of like difficult for me to do the detangling I needed to do. It wasn't as easy as I normally would because I blew my hair out before, so now since it's in a somewhat curly state, it was hard to detangle. So I would put conditioner on my hair, put it in the ponytail, go detangle some, twist it up, keep the rest in the ponytail. So the like middle to top part got really really matted so I uh, it got to the point where I couldn't take it a loose no matter how much condition I put on it no much how much I ran water under it so I ended up having to cut it okay that made me really sad I cried just like the first time I really chopped I cried I was so sad but you know nevertheless I'm I'm redoing my journey I'm not gonna bleach my hair for a long time even though I really want color anyway back to the main focus of this video okay so this video I'm making two parts one for short hair and one for long hair um of the pros and cons of going natural 
um or being natural in general so let's get started i made a list just so i can stay on track even though i rambled for like five minutes but let's get started so i will start with the pros it was hard for me to think about the pros because you know i had so much um damage to my own long hair even though i loved it it was just it was everything to me, especially with the color. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. I'm loving my hair now, of course, so, you know. But, anyway, the pros of having long, natural hair. One, it is very versatile. That is one thing to say. Even though I walk kind of sort of the same styles, I could walk, rock different variations of that style to make it a completely different style. I was able to start doing updos. I was able to... Just wear like me like my twists out without looking like they're trying to be one of the dress. Um, you know, I was just able to do so many styles. I would look up YouTube videos or I would just get an idea in my head and I could actually create the styles that I wanted based on the length of my hair. Now that my hair is getting longer, so I'm starting to be able to do that. But um when it was very short. All I can really do is twist it, flat twist it, you know, just very simple stuff that doesn't take that long that I can let, you know, and then, you know, if I do those styles, it's easier for me to wear a wig because my hair is so short, you know, I really don't have to twist it down or braid it down to, you know, what, just put my wig cap over it, put on my wig and keep it moving. But, you know, with long hair, it takes... To me, it took more time to do a wig if I don't already have my hair twisted up and I don't feel like untwisting it. But yeah, the long hair is very versatile. You can flat iron it, you know, and get that length. You can curl it. You can flexi rod it, perm rod it. Well, you can perm rod it short. But it's, yeah, you know what I mean. But it's a lot of different styles that you can do that you can't do when your hair is really short. And that's one reason why I loved it because I can rock out different things with it and it, you know, and I won't get bored, even though I easily get bored. And when I get bored with my hair, I protect the style. Like my crochet, I got tired of my hair. Therefore, I put it up. That way it's taken care of. Um, one, it can, and another pro is it can be low maintenance because of these styles that you do, especially like the updos and the buns and the puffs. And stuff that protects your ends because you're doing so much with it. And then you probably keep these styles in for, you know, a couple days, a couple weeks, depending on what style you have and how you upkeep it. So it can be very low maintenance, even though one of my cons kind of contradicts that. But it depends all on how you style your hair. Um, another pro is that you're, you will be able to stretch your styles out for far longer like I would min do a mini twist on my hair um you know my hair was longer so it would be long mini twist I would rock that for a week or two when it starts to get um frizzy and poofy and just like looking kind of crazy I could take it out rock a mini twist out you know wear that for like almost another week it turns into a fro I can put it in a puff I can put it in a bun I stretch out how I manipulate my hair without changing my hair every week. Of course, I I kept my hair very moisturized. Um, one way I kept my hair moisturized when I'm like stretching out my wash day is when I get in the shower, I let the steam moisture my hair and then cover it all and make sure you wear a bunny. Hey, you know whatever helps you. So those are the only pros that I can think of. Um, if I find out more, like if I think about more pros, I will let you guys know. But those are the three main pros that I found that I could think of from my experience. <clears throat> okay, my cons for having long hair. Some of the difficulties, difficulties that I've dealt with. One is it required a lot more care, especially for detangling and wash days. Like literally, um... I can get, like, the length that my hair is now compared to what it was when I cut it. I can literally get my wash and comb, saturate my hair conditioner, grab a section, detangle it. It probably takes me less than a minute. 
my hair was longer it was um it's still it was still kind of the same thickness and then plus i had the two different textures but even when i didn't have the two different textures it took me roughly half an hour to detangle my entire hair depending on what style that i wore and my wash days literally took almost the entire day because you know i would pre-poo for like a an hour or so especially if I got distracted then I would wash my hair then I would condition it then I would deep condition it then you know whatever style I decided but now it's like so much simpler it probably take me all in now to do my hair depending on what style I do I'm not doing mini twists but you know it may take me like an hour or two to do my hair which I'm loving right now so hey um that it requires a lot of care um, therefore, you know, it can be high maintenance, um, especially depending on how you style your hair, you know, it determines whether how dry your hair will get, um, what products you use, you know, such a thing as that, um, as I said, a long styling time, so, yeah, I don't know, if people say they have a short styling time when it comes to long natural hair, please let me know, so when I my hair gets back to that length I will have this already down pat um and I noticed that when my hair was longer I lost moisture so much more easily because you know you have your ends they're rubbing against your clothes and you know you have your hair off it's like more like it's like more hair showing like when your hair is short and it's like and then I feel like your ends are really showing, but not like all of that length is showing. So, you know, it's okay. It stays moisturized longer. But when my hair was longer, like I lost moisture so much easily. And you can ask all my friends, like, I kept my hair moisturized. So, you know, for it to begin to lose moisture, like my hair became drier. After like, when I'm, my hair is short now, so my hair stayed moisturized for about a week and a half, depending on whether or not I decided to wash my hair. When I was, when my hair was longer, it'll probably be like more stress for like four or five days and then it starts to feel really dry. So yeah, like losing moisture, hey, it comes with territory. Um, and I think also what contributes to it is like, you know, what products you usually have. If you honestly know how to moisturize your hair and seal it correctly, um, Probably knowing your hair porosity will help you. Knowing what products work for your hair will help. I don't tend, I don't know my, I don't do hair porosity. I don't really do um, hair typing or anything like that. It's more so I find the products that work for me. I know for a fact that Shea Moisture's dry, damaged hair, Shea Butter Line is perfect for my hair. Um, they're, the curling souffle well yeah that line the, the curl the coconut hibiscus line that really doesn't work for me like that there's certain products that do like the for example the smoothie and the hold the shine and mist spray that works good for my hair but that's really about it um i don't think that the jamaican black castor oil line works for my hair personally i saw no benefit from it like my hair loves black castor oil that's why i was very surprised when it didn't work out but hey you know what can I do so well, let me see what else well yeah that's that, that's it like that's all like my only cons for that and you know my only pros for that if you have things if you have long natural hair and you and your cons or pros is not listen please let me know about your experience with your long natural hair I would love to hear about it I really appreciate you guys for watching my videos and please stay tuned for part two, which will be about my short hair or short natural hair, the pros and cons with that. And I will definitely see you guys. Like, I know it's been a while, but I will definitely see you guys in like a couple of days, a day. I don't know when I'm going to post the, that next video, but it will definitely be up. And please like this video, comment. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe like what harm could it do to subscribe and just watch my videos if you end up not liking my videos and you unsubscribe I totally understand that is your prerogative but I would love for you to be with me on this journey 
Um, when I take this out, I will be doing a link check before I cut my ends. And I may do a video on how I trim my ends, you'll never know. And I'm also going to do a nighttime routine with this hair so that, you know, how I, you know, keep my hair good underneath here so I won't have a, the same problem that I had the last time. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!